What's the excuse now? I don't see an excuse. I saw a fucking species of a race get fucking destroyed. I saw a fucking beheading of a Cowboys team that was fucking horrible in every way, every part of each position on that field today. And, man, did I ever think that we were fucking that bad? Not like that. Not getting blown the fuck out, because all I heard from Cowboys fans this week, this week was, uh, well, oh, our, it's going to be a defensive game. A defensive game. Nah, not a defensive game, bro. Yeah, I'm happy you guys lost, but at the same time, it's fucking disgraceful because you fans can't even be truthful and realistic about the shit that you guys do in the offseason and how... And what looks good and what look, doesn't look good on the team. And see, we'll, we know when a position fucking sucks and it's not going to go well. And it's happened. But to say your defense is fucking great. Should do be a hoozy and fucking no one Carroll can't cover fucking jack shit. Jordan Lewis got a fucking interception. Oh, he got a pick. He got a pick. Now he'll get hyped up in a fucking highlight video fucking tomorrow. Another fucking convict. CJ Anderson ran all over you guys. Fucking four or five missed fucking tackles. Sanders was fucking running, was catching the ball and using his feet to fucking outrun it. That whole entire fucking defense. Fucking horrible. Fucking horrible. Denver just fucking exposed your asses. Wow. That's crazy, man. Like, the amount of shit that us Eagles fans got from you Cowboys fans, and that, and that's the fucking, that, and that's what you guys do against a fucking good team. And you still got what? You still got Green Bay. You still got Atlanta. Man, it's going to be a rough fucking stretch for you guys. Not saying all our schedules are fucking tough, but that, my God. You guys should go ghost for a while after that. That's fucking horrible. And if you have an excuse for that. But but it touched Dez's hands. Dez didn't catch it. It would have been a catch. It would have been. Yeah, well, he didn't fucking catch it. And on top of that, he should be catching every fucking thing. Because he bitches when he does catch things. And, you know, when it's not a catch, it is a catch. Whatever the fuck it is. Oh, Nolan Carroll, too. Oh, we got Nolan Carroll. We set. We set. Oh, the Eagles didn't use Nolan Carroll the right way. How the fuck do you not use a corner the right or wrong way? It's either he can fucking cover or he fucking can't cover, you fucking dumb fuck. You stupid fucks. Fucking, we don't use a corner the right way, you dumb fucking pieces of shit. Amazing. Fucking amazing. <laughs> Oh, man. It's a long road ahead. It's a long fucking road ahead right now. And to to my understanding, within two games, the fucking Eagles have looked better than anybody in the NFC East. So far, two games in. So I'm going to keep going on that. See, I'm not speaking for everybody, but for my fucking self, I know when there's a position that's bad. I know when someone's out what's going to fucking happen. But that's fucking embarrassing. You guys should like go fucking ghost because that's fucking embarrassing. <laughs> you know, 40, oh my god, over 40 fucking points. That's. <laughs> oh shit. <coughs> Yo. Oh god, I have to enjoy this. <laughs> Oh, you know I gotta enjoy this shit. When Dallas gets beat, it's a great fucking day. Whether we win or lose, it don't fucking matter. Don't fucking matter. Oh, my God. Oh, the shit that you guys were talking and talking. and Oh, man. This shit that... Oh, the fucking, the fucking shit that was coming out of your fucking mouths. Like, this fucking off-season. And, oh, oh, we set. We got two corners in the, in the draft. We, we set. We set. We set. Yeah, you're fucking set, all right. You're set with a guy with a concussion, a guy can't cover, and another guy has a... 
a weird fucking first and last fucking name. It doesn't make any damn sense. And Taco fucking Charlton, you know, that's better than Derek Barnett. Shut the fuck up. Guys don't know shit. Guys don't know shit about who you fucking draft. You hype every fucking person you fucking draft. You guys aren't realistic with the people that you have playing. You fucking, you lost all those people in free agency and you fucking, you let everybody fucking walk. But you're fucking bitching about us because we got one year deals on our fucking team. At least we have the damn choice to keep a player or let him go. You guys didn't have a fucking choice. But when there's no fucking run game, I just saw a fucking, a beheading of a fucking Dallas, Texas Right through the heart of fucking Texas. That's where it fucking went this game. And it's fucking embarrassing. Comment all you want. That's embarrassing. Embarrassing. <sighs> to the point where... I even saw what... Um, Denver got one of the picks, and I think I think Ezekiel Elliott was like kind of near him, and he just fucking stood there, didn't chase the guy down. He fucking literally saw the guy intercept the ball, and he was you know a few feet away from ten feet, whatever the fuck it was. He was right near him, and he just like stood there and watched him run back. He didn't fucking. He's just. It's just doesn't give a fuck. Attitude doesn't fucking care at all. Fucking a bunch of fucking losers. Every fucking one of them fucking joke not like I give a shit but the fucking attitude and the fucking everyone's flipping out on the sideline like Jason Witten's like fucking red face flipping the fuck out cause of stupid shit happening well that's what you fucking get see you Dallas Cowboy fans that fucking talk shit get on people's fucking channels start talking shit I believe in karma 100%. Because when you talk shit before a fucking game, you watch everyone else fucking, you watch teams lose and teams win in the division, and then you fucking, you talk shit way before that and before that, and then that shit bites you right in the fucking ass. And that game bit you right in the fucking ass. So, see you guys week fucking 10. And a lot of teams have a blueprint on your fucking asses now from this game, so good fucking luck. And, uh... I don't know. I think the Redskins look the Redskins definitely look better than the fucking Cowboys a little bit more. And that's fucking sad to say. And they're supposed to be bomb of the fucking barrel. So we'll fucking see, but Dallas Cowboys, you guys are fucking pathetic pieces of fucking crap. <laughs> Yo. That was fucking embarrassing. I'm happy as hell and I want you to be pissed at me for being happy as hell, so I don't give a fuck. At all. So I'll see you guys later. Joey Shakes 72 out. Fly goes fly. Go fucking birds. Fuck you, Dallas. Fuck you, NFC East. I'll see you guys later.